hi everyone it has been a long time I have uploaded any video in my channel I hope you all are doing good so in my today's session I'm going to explain about this Azure signal R service I think many of you are already aware of this signal R library provided by Microsoft okay it is available for both ASP.NET Core as well as uh, ASP.NET and for the Microsoft dot net framework applications a very simple and very straightforward at powerful library which basically helps you to create or make your application receive real-time updates basically okay uh, it basically makes your application to receive the real-time updates which can help you to enhance the user experience of your application so I will go through this Microsoft documentation uh, I think they have explained much better that's why I thought to not create anything extra here so what is Azure signal R service okay as per the documentation Azure signal R service simplifies the process of adding real-time web functionality to applications over HTTP this real-time functionality allows the service to push content updates to connected clients concentrate on this statement this real-time functionality allows the service to push content updates to connected clients so if your web application is running on your desktop or a mobile application or your or on your tablet basically you can see the real-time updates it may be a change in your graph that you are weaving it may be change in a grid data basically which will reflect the real-time uh, information which is available on your servers okay so that's what this real-time functionality allows to uh, allows the service to push content updates to connected clients such as single page web or mobile application as a result clients are updated without the need to pull the server okay or submit new HTTP request for updates okay before signal our service or equivalent kind of stuff what we used to do is we were required to pull the server in order to get updates okay uh, we it's a very <laughs> famous JavaScript function uh, I think many of us are aware that is a set interval or set timeout using that we used to set a interval of five seconds or ten seconds or some minutes in order to get these updates and how we used to get these updates we used to make simple api call in order to get the data but now this stuff has been really simplified okay and also it has been made a good standard a way of programming in order to get this kind of real world uh, sorry real time data to our applications okay so let's go through this quickly yeah so what is Azure signal R service used for okay any scenario that requires pushing data from server to client in real time can use Azure signal service very true very true statement <coughs> traditional real-time features that often require polling from server can also use Azure signal R service Azure signal R service has been used in a variety of industries for any application type that requires real-time content updates okay they have listed some examples guys we can go through uh, as and also they have specified for what all scenarios we can use this so high frequency data updates which is gaming voting polling auction dashboards and monitoring company dashboard basically which gives the company data financial market data like stock exchange data instant sales update multiplayer game leaderboard iot monitoring many you can create chatbot using this azure signal r service real-time location on map real-time targeted ads collaborative apps push notifications uh, push notifications like in our android devices or in mobiles we would have seen these notifications whenever we receive messages right so real-time broadcasting like scoreboards uh, which we used to see in our TVs whenever a cricket match is going on I think we can take that example also over here whenever score changes we are keep on getting those updates okay IoT and connected devices and automation okay real-time trigger from upstream events also that can also be automated basically using this service so what are the benefits of using Azure signal R service okay see what Microsoft says is first of all it's a standard based let's see what does that mean signal R provides an abstraction over a number of techniques used for building real-time web applications okay web sockets is the optimal transport but other techniques like server sent events and long polling are used when other options are not available signal R automatically detects and initializes the appropriate transport based on the features supported on the server and client see guys okay 
in order to achieve these automatic or real time updates web sockets ws is the best protocol but if some device doesn't support if the server or client doesn't support web sockets protocol then this particular service has the intelligence or has a mechanism to automatically select other protocols which is compatible with both server and client it can be server sent events or it can be long polling okay depending on the availability signal are automatically detects the such transport mechanism and achieves the same functionality without the notice to the user okay user will see the real time updates but underlying protocol will be decided by the service itself which is really good and which is really enterprise grade ready guys okay without without any multi, uh, second thought i think we can use this particular service to implement real time updates to our applications native asp.net core support okay yes obviously uh, microsoft must provide that so signal alert service provides native programming experience with asp.net core and asp.net developing new signal alert application with signal alert service or migrating from existing signal alert based application to signal alert service requires minimal efforts i agree signal alert service also supports asp.net core's new features that is server side blazor also which is really good okay uh, i will I, i will take you people to one small example how simple it is to implement this signal r guys okay you you people will definitely uh, wonder how simple they have made this kind of complex implementation which gives more value to your applications okay so <coughs> let's go on to the next benefit that is broad client support signal r service works with a broad range of clients such as web or mobile browsers desktop apps mobile apps server processors iot devices and game consoles okay signal r service offers sdks in different languages in addition to native asp.net core or asp.net c# -sharp sdk signal r service also provides javascript client sdk which is really good to enable web clients and many javascript frameworks it may be react angular whatever okay whatever new frameworks are coming or for all those frameworks i think there is a javascript library available from microsoft side java client sdk is also supported for java application even for java programming language also they have provided a sdk okay so you can use signal r azure signal r service in your java based application also including android native apps also okay so signal r service supports rest apis and serverless through integrations with azure functions and event grid okay again it comes to the azure side so signal r service supports rest api and serverless uh, through integrations with azure functions okay basically you don't need a server itself using azure functions also we can make use of uh, this azure signal r service so what happens is whenever some real time event comes basically you can write a azure function which will trigger based on this uh, signal r uh, notifications or data basically okay which is really good handle large scale client connections okay most important stuff guys signal r service is designed for large scale real time applications okay signal r service allows multiple instances to work together to scale to millions of client connections the service also supports multiple global regions for sharing high availability or disaster recovery purposes this is one good stuff guys see there are two ways to implement signal r okay first is simply you write your signal r service using the signal r sdk available or the package available in nugget okay you simply write your service and you host on your app service or on kubernetes but what happens in this case is basically the signal r service related stuff all the load is on your app service or the kubernetes pod itself okay so if you want to support a large number of client connections then basically you are putting load on your app service or the kubernetes pod basically okay so that's why to avoid that they have made it as a azure signal r service itself okay so whatever stuff related to connection management or internal stuffs related to signal r basically it will come as a azure resource and all those Uh, additional effort or additional load will be taken or additional processing will be taken care by that resources itself and not overburdening your app services or kubernetes pods or nodes i hope you people understood the one of the <coughs> main reason to make use of this azure signal r service okay instead of just a signal r library in your web applications okay 
okay that's what the next point came remove the burden to self host signal r compared to self hosted signal r applications that's what i explained in the previous point switching to signal r service will remove the need to manage backplanes that handle the scales and client connections the fully managed service also simplifies web applications and saves hosting costs signal r service offers global reach and world class data center and a network scales to millions of connections guarantees sla while providing all the compliance and security at age old standard what else we want guys this is really nice basically okay so recently even we were also making use of this self hosted signal r services for our application but uh, after going through this new service they have introduced we migrated to age old signal r service so you can see in the picture okay in a self hosted signal r this is your age old app service or kubernetes pod and inside that only basically you are hosting your signal r so the load is basically on your app service it has to run your it has to manage your uh, web app request processing and apart from that it has to take care of signal r related requests also and all the communication but with the managed signal r service just see the difference your app service is basically kept uh, separate okay your app service doesn't manage any processing related to signal r any connection management whatever it is related to signal r it will be managed by this age old signal r service only which is really good stuff and uh, yeah using this uh, i think we have seen a really nice performance improvement on our web applications also so offer rich apis for different messaging pattern signal r service allows the server to send messages to a particular connection all connections or a subset of connections that belong to a specific user or have been placed in an arbitrary group in signal r basically there are multiple ways you can establish a connection or establish a, a data transfer basically what happens you know signal r can allows you to send data to all available connections or all available client connections or subset of connections basically in signal r you can create a group of connections so if you want to send a data to a specific group of connections then you can only send to that group and only connections or only clients which are listening to those connections they will receive such notifications this is really good guys and you can also send to a specific user also that is also possible so uh, the basically the notification or data you sent will go to that user only nobody else will see that so in case of chatbot applications this is the most uh, favorable scenario when dealing with a specific user okay so that's it uh, about what this age or signal r service is okay so i would like to take you through a simple example again for each and every sdk programming language microsoft has given examples please go through that guys <coughs> so let me take you through that example wait recommended content ah uh, well there is one example see there is a quick start section okay in the same page so basically you can see the examples for uh, some of the programming languages like for c sharp asp.net core for asp.net that is for .net framework azure functions for javascript <laughs> for uh, browser based applications or web applications which purely depend on javascript azure functions for c sharp and then for java python there is a rich support guys okay so in my uh, session i will just quickly go through this create a chat room by using signal r service okay so very simple okay what all steps we need to follow i will simply go through it first of all you should have a azure subscription or you should hold a azure account so sign into that azure portal okay in the upper left side of the page select plus create a resource okay and there you will get this option to create a signal r service uh let me quickly show you that uh, well the content is pretty huge guys so i will leave it for you people to do uh, yeah go through this uh, small application that microsoft has provided how to create this chat room very simple guys there is nothing much no rocket science okay just to follow the instruction step by step okay the main and most important stuff is creating this azure signal r service on uh, azure portal once you create that basically it will give you an api key uh, which they will explain in the next step it seems 
uh, this is creating your dotnet application yeah there it is add a secret named azure colon signal or colon connection string to secret manager or in your key vault wherever okay or in your app settings dot json file that's it it is a convention over configuration so if you add a setting with this name then sign azure signal or service will automatically read the setting and read your api key or your azure signal or key basically uh, i can say okay it will make use of that connection string okay and then it will establish all further communication with your signal or service okay so very seamless integration no complexity very simple okay and in case of dotnet core it is even easier if you see public void configure services in configure services method simply use the services collection that is the services dot add signal r and then call one additional method that is called add azure signal r so in case of self hosted signal r implementation we used to use just this line services dot add signal r but now with the azure signal r service you have to make one additional call that is chaining called add azure signal r if you don't pass any parameter to this add azure signal r service so it is then it is understood that there is it will try to find a default setting called azure colon signal r colon connection string in order to get the connection string to establish connection with signal r service okay so that is really nice stuff and then under configure method of your startup.cs or program.cs simply specify the end point end points and yeah map your hub class hub is like see in case of restful apis we use controller okay we use the concept of controller to create a api endpoint but here in case of signal r we may we use the concept of hubs basically we create hub classes to uh, expose the endpoints see the way they have exposed here endpoints dot map hub chat hub slash chat that's it very simple guys go through this documentation uh, and try to implement this and i think you will realize the power of azure signal r services i hope this session is useful for you people and will help your application to enhance by adding this kind of real time updates uh, functionality okay uh, because of time constraint i'm not going through each and every <laughs> instruction of this uh, sample application that they have provided but yes it's up to you people uh, go through it and try to implement thank you for listening guys and have a nice day